use them as a weapon. The first yeah. metal dice things I got, I got them from a fucking little, like, I got them from a little pack at Books a Million that was like a random pack. The, 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 basically, a company said, hmm, let's take, uh, let's take uh, all the bad dice that have, uh, that have production errors that don't affect their rolling. <laughs> Yes, I that's like, what it's like called Mr. Let's get done and investigating, shall we? To defeat the Huns? <laughs> Alrighty. Damn. Do I not have this? Just make seat? sure you don't move anything. We're all getting big trouble. I have Odin. Fine. I promise. God damn it, Apollo. died. Bad ending. Oh. Is it back? Uh, hello? Nick, are you alive? Yeah, there you are. There you are. We're back! <laughs> only move the things I have to. I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, I don't know. Guess this internet flash, maybe? I don't know. Well, I have my own investigation to conduct. Let me know if you need anything. Well, <laughs> it's been a while since we've done any investigating. Well, what are we waiting for? Right. You don't? I can give you a quick one rundown. No. Should I have Athena give me no. a rundown? I'm okay. Don't worry about me. I've got it all locked away in the vault up here. Good. I'm sure I'll, I'll come back to me too as, as we go along. Wait, wasn't it you who just offered to give me a rundown? Not why we played 
Ada, dude. <laughs> yeah. That video camera is pointed right at the stage. I wonder what it recorded. I wanted to take a peek, but Emma would. <laughs> Oh, this residue data is so fascinating. <laughs> fascinating. She's so fixated on that bloodstain data. Her eyes are getting bloodshot. A video. Mm. Oh god, no! It's gonna be the fucking guitar serenade all over again! Uh, hey. Oh. Well, it's trying. Oh, I think it's back. Mostly. It doesn't focus on the darn box. This camera sucks. Yeah, this camera sucks. <laughs> like, it's so zoomed in. Isn't this supposed to be like a great magician light trick? And why aren't they showing that? Yeah, and they're not even focusing on it. Like, what the fuck? the same video we saw on TV where you can't see the body at all. Paulo, did you notice a strange shadow in that footage? Huh? No, why? Oh, spooky. I don't think it was my imagination, but I'm pretty sure I saw something. Strange shadow, huh? Wonder what it was. Papa Pirate. Huh. That doesn't sound like any game I've ever heard of. Or a busty anime woman in a swimsuit. <laughs> ass. You like your ass, don't you, Nia? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I still that screenshot still kills me. Okay. What? Screenshot. It's it's the one with like the collection of like the bunch of different screenshots I took while playing chapter four. Oh, <laughs> In yeah. between all the stupid shit, there's just ass. really it's pretty famous in Europe. Did you have anything to play with as a kid? Really? It's pretty famous in Europe. Did you have anything to play with as a kid? I think it's. Okay. Oh, you know us simple Americans. We're happy with just a hoop and a stick. You fucking boring, Apollo. <laughs> Game boy. <laughs> I wanted to be an American. I wanna be an American again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Emma, can I ask you a question? Oh, 
heart. She won't even look this way. Ooh, a great print! Another set for my collection. <laughs> Stop collecting prints, you freak. Yeah. <laughs> Fiend. Really her work, doesn't she? I thought it, I thought that other line was a theme no, for a moment. <laughs> we have one of these in the office too, don't we? Yeah, that poor magic prop we use as a shelving unit. I'd kind of like to see Trucy per perform this trick sometime. Well, we both know you'd be the one in the box if she ever did. I feel bad for the prop, but... reason Discord just keep disconnecting me. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna try something real quick. Be right back. Yeah, yeah. That should work. Would you like me to recite my line? Yeah. Okay. It can stay a shelving unit in that case. what they call a set piece. It's a piece of the on-stage yeah, on stage scenery. Hey, Wendy. It suddenly fell down after the body was revealed, if I remember correctly. And this is why we don't adapt famous children books on stage. Nick, that happens all the time. 99% it will be an accident. Like, no! Yeah, yeah, bitch, yes! I broke my foot one time. Well, I didn't break it, I sprained it. Personal experience versus. Were you doing Spider Man Turn Off the Dark? Or Starlight Express? No, we're doing. We... Something with a history of accidents. No, we were doing Mary Poppins. I had to jump off something. I landed on my wrong. I landed so fucking wrong that I started to cry inside. Oof. Just as a brave heroine screams, the spell of the dragon breaks. Losing its wings, the dragon falls to the ground. Heroin. That moment marked the collapse of truth and magical kingdom. Magic, huh? Yeah, sure. The 
The timing was so perfect, I'd be genuinely surprised if it was magic. Oh hey, this is a curtain. I wonder what's behind it. It's you, Apollo. The backstage area. There's magic equipment and stuff like that back there. I'll open it a crack and check it out later. I wasn't thinking of opening that curtain, boy. Oh, Emma, you know it's too well. Whoa, who, me? <laughs> Would I ever do a thing like that? Yeah, we're gonna do it right now. Rats! Guess I'll have to ask her to open it for me later. sword here. It's covered in blood. Must be the murder weapon. Castlevania looking ass. Trusty said she was sure she switched it out with the rubber sword. Unfortunately, this one certainly doesn't look like it's made of rubber. Hey, Emma? Are there any fingerprints on the sword? My data. No prints were found. But that could be because the culprit wiped them off. Come to think of it, Trucy was wearing gloves during the show. So she certainly wouldn't have left any prints either. Something isn't right. Just doesn't it? It just doesn't make any sense. Apollo, you're poking your forehead really hard again. Uh, thinking. What's the matter, Apollo? You're making that weird thinking face again. How did what should have been a rubber sword get switched with a metal one? Plus, the timing of that dragon set piece falling down. Wasn't that just a little too convenient? Something just isn't sitting right. I think I've got it! I think somebody switched Trucy's rubber sword for the metal one! I mean, anyone could have come up with that conclusion, Apollo. <laughs> I may be stupid. Huh? To pin the murder on her. Someone switched the sword? When could they have done that? When everyone was too busy to notice. Somebody could have switched Trucy's rubber sword with a metal one. After the set piece fell. After the set piece fell, everybody in the audience was kicked out of the theater. In the ensuing chaos, somebody could have carried out a cover-up operation. Any one of the stagehands or show personnel could have done it before the police arrived.
So what you're saying is... Somebody's actively trying to frame Trucy for the crime. Damn, yes. Apollo. Some disgusting individuals trying to get away with murder. Disgusting. They make disgusting. They made me sick. So it's someone related. If it's someone related to the show, there's definitely a very high chance of that. Now, if we could just figure out who it is. This is the coffin the dead body appeared from. I actually haven't examined that yet. Would you two mind giving me a hand? Trucy said the coffin was supposed to be empty when she stabbed it. So how did the victim even get in there? I bet there's a secret door or something. is an oddly shaped thing, isn't it? Who knew it could unfold into something like this? Well, I heard that this is used- Well, I heard that this is used for magic tricks. The left and right panels are made to be interchangeable. How that helps with magic tricks, though, I have no idea. I'm sure they make use of it in some way we can't even imagine. Wait a minute. It looks like the bottom of the coffin opens up, too. What did your brother do? I don't fucking know. Sounds... This is why I hate when he doesn't have work in the morning. Sounds... So he just stays up late and screams. Sounds like he's having a bad time. I guess. Sand Undertale. That's it. Look at that. It seems to lead someplace under the stage. That's right, it goes to the understage passage. I mean, who can think of that? It's pitch black down there. Uh, hold on, I think I see something glowing faintly.
hard to make anything out up from up here. If you try to go down there, the magicians will get mad at you. Apparently there are things down there that will give away the secrets behind that trick. Well, that sucks. All right there, and we can't even... All right there, and we can't even check it out? I'm definitely gonna have to examine that Undersage Passage at some point, though. outline, huh? So this is where the body was. What exactly did it look like just after the incident occurred, I wonder? photo of the crime scene. Here you go. <clears throat> oh wow, it looks like he was shot in the back. He got something on his belt. Hmm. Yeah. That's definitely what killed him. Oh, I'm not the only one that noticed. Thank you, Apollo. What's this thing around his waist? It's a stunt harness. A stunt wire can be attached to it so the person can float and fly through the air. There was a huge debate if our Mary Poppins should fly, and we just uh, we decided against it. Yeah, for safety. Giving a high school student a, like a fucking flying harness. Yeah, that does not sound good. No, that's a disaster waiting to happen. Ah, where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> Come to think of it, he did fly in Act One, didn't he? Can you fly, Bobby? Dragon is a lot more handmade than I expected. Big brother Apollo helping his little sister. Yeah, well, I can't tell you how many hours I put into that freaking thing. Trucy had me help it. Trucy had me help put it together, you know, as her assistant. That's what siblings she has do. Has wrapped around her little finger, does she? That's what siblings do. Your 
Trucy Smile has some kind of magical power that makes it impossible to say no. When it's Apollo's turn to clean the toilet, but you when no, when it's Trucy's turn to clean the toilet, Trucy's like, can you clean the toilet? Let's check it out up close. Have I not examined everything here? Oh. in the back panel of the coffin. Think Mr. Reese could have entered the coffin through here? Could have done it without Trucy noticing, and maybe. Like two magicians like trying two to out magic one another. Hey, hey, hey! It's like two <laughs> trying to out magic one another right under each, uh, right under each other's noses. That's just how you see me. Let's see. What else do we need to do on this stage? Emma, did you find any fingerprints on the coffin? That's a smile of a winner. Actually, I haven't checked yet. I was going to do that at the end. I'd like to save the best for last. Uh, we aren't exactly talking about dessert here. Oh, but we are. Would you like to participate in my delicious dessert? I don't mind sharing. Emma, whoa, whoa, what are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Oh yes, please. There's always room for dessert, right? All right. Guess I'll join you too. Apollo, no. <laughs> so, could you show us how you check for prints, Emma? Okay, they're checking for prints. Wait, what? No, they're checking for prints. Wait. <laughs> Sure. Let's start with the basics. I know how to. Oh my god! It's fine. As you know, fingerprints are an excellent way of identifying someone. Because no two people have the same set of fingerprints, not even twins. I bet if Apollo was just here, he'll probably say, I kind of forgot how to do fingerprints. I'm um, okay, you like fucking show me. <laughs> so, if so if we find any prints on the coffin, they might lead us to the killer. Culper was dumb enough to leave Prince behind, sure. Let's go ahead and dust for Prince now. More cocaine. Oh god. Let's see. <laughs> this looks like a promising spot. Try dusting the aerial fingerprint powder. Move the cursor around, keep pressing A until it's thoroughly covered in powder. Powder. When you're done, blow with Y to get rid of the excess powder. Blow with that. The powder in this bottle is all we have to work with. What? Oh no, there's a limit. Emma, what the Damn. fuck? Did they downgrade you? <laughs> <laughs> they nerfed her. <laughs> nah, she has more. She just snorts it up. <laughs> If you run out, try blowing on the area. Why do I hear? Then the excess powder will be returned to the bottle. Why do I hear Inagata Davida? <laughs> Alright, 
think I'm ready to give it a try. Fuck me. Ah, oh, fuck. How much? Oh, Jesus no. Christ! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> There's not much. Oh, my fuck. Just gotta go everywhere. <laughs> Emma, what the fuck is wrong with <laughs> Emma, you? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna use my D pad actually. Down, 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 Hey Emma, why are you bending down to the powder? Why are you trying to store it up? <laughs> why are you making it a thing? Why are you worried about it? Huh? 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 Well, <laughs> we did it. You found some prints. Looks like the fingers of somebody's left hand. Someone got some big ass hands. Now let's try comparing these with the ones we have on file. First, switch to analyze mode with LB to select a print. Kowalski analysis. Next, select the print you want to analyze and confirm with A. Got a big ass thumbprint right here. Apollo. Apollo's kill killer is dead. Holland. Holland. I've got a pretty clear print here. Holland. I wonder whose it is. I have a print of everyone involved in the case right here. Choose the person whose prints you'd like to compare the sample against. Well, the last person who was in the coffin was... Wow, Emma, they really gave you a budget. <laughs> Whoa! Mr. Reuse. Sex, male, job, dead. <laughs> ah! Bingo! Looks like the prince belonged to the deceased Mr. Ryu. Did you guys not see that? Well, if we found Prince here. I saw it. I saw the it. Blue badger. <laughs> Maybe we can find them elsewhere on the coffin, too. Guess we'll try dusting for more prints. Just fuck. Oh my god. I... <laughs> Keep going. Damn, I I can't believe I'm saying this. It. No, I, just I can't drag it along. I have to painstakingly painstakingly select a spot and add up do this instead of going like a madman on crack I need to <laughs> do a, my job I need to do my job <laughs> she probably like put one more in the middle there there you go You know what this reminds me of? What? What? You already know. <laughs> Cocaine bear. I, I, would, I was gonna say something now. <laughs> Scarface? N no, no. Uncut gems. No. I'm running out of films that involve cocaine. <laughs> I was thinking of something else.
Oh. Here's our clear thumbprint right here. There. I found some. These prints are apparently Mr. Rius's too. Shall we try looking for prints on the outside of the coffin now? Yes, let's. This time you'll be able to rotate the coffin and look at it from a different angles. Jesus, fuck! <laughs> That'll give you a chance to examine it thoroughly. You can use... <laughs> ...to turn the coffin in any way, with any which way you'd like. And holding R B while you think... Well, if you jump right to where the action is. This is way too complicated. If you ever get stuck or confused, you can always reset things with. Oh, thank God. Okay, and if I find any prints, I'll choose one to run against your data, just like before. But are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Whoever came up with the 3D gimmick for the fucking 3DS, I want to find out and I want to slap them. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> this is yeah. This is even worse than the first game. Oh my! Rise of Ashes did this better. How did we as the Ace Attorney fans <laughs> How did we devolved? Devolved? <laughs> Like I'm telling you, Emma got nerfed. <laughs> from when she was 15. <laughs> How do you de-evolve from Apollo Justice, Emma? <laughs> How are you worse than when you were a teenager? <laughs> How could this happen? I did that for nothing! <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, if you stop... Well, if you stop uh, component of my cocaine all over, things are clearly not relevant to the case, maybe you would figure that... No! Stop wasting my goddamn cocaine! <laughs> Anyone else's eyes twitching? <laughs> yes, an annoyance. What? You ran out. Blow it. I just realized. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Why did they get rid of all my cocaine? They <laughs> said so you had enough. Look like that. What? <laughs> you have to be a little more precise. There, I got a print. All right, I'll just check it against my data. Huh? That's funny. Doesn't match the prints of anyone involved in this case. Really? None of them? How can that be? Now then. I wonder if I can find any more prints. That's strange. More. I already checked this print. Apollo, for me, for God's sake, just. I checked it. <laughs> just bring up the print analysis, and we can just. Oh wait, there's something on the back. There's something on the back. It's me. Oh, it's just like shine. I was on the back the whole time. Hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Uh, I think we de-evolved as a Ace Attorney Society to the... Why? Why? What's going on? They nerfed Emma. They nerfed Emma's fingerprinting. So it takes fucking forever. Oh boy. And BS like puzzles might be. I did all that for nothing. <laughs> I hope we all can learn a valuable lesson from this. 
Ha? Hı? Dufu? What? 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 <laughs> I... The fingerprints were fake. Just keep on. The fingerprints were fake. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's How did this shit. dust get? That was dust, not shine. How did that get on back of the... the? Maybe try the bottom. There might be something on the very bottom since it's a trapdoor. Oh my god. <laughs> this is probably a bit easier with mouse. But on controller, it's ugh. Stylus and D-pad. You know what would be best on? What? Touch screen. DS yeah. The DS stylus. As God intended. Real. <laughs> we made sure that the controller, <laughs> that the controller inputs were good for dual destinies and spirit of justice. No, oh, the fuck you did, <laughs> you liar. Oh my God. <laughs> Where is it? Whoa, Where DS puzzles a poggy. God, maybe there's something on the lid? I, I don't know. But that's gonna What's be this? Oh. oh. Oh, there's something. There's something! There's we are- something. We are- There's something! We are examining, oh. we're, we're examining the Joker's coffin. I found another print. Judging from his position and location. <clears throat> it might have been made when someone put the lid on the coffin. Let's see now. There was one part during the show where someone put this lid on. After Trucy had gone into the coffin. Ah! Therefore, this print should belong to... I think that- I think that blue badger variation is just Neo. From Matrix- <laughs> from the Matrix. Bonnie. Sex. Female. Job. Not dead. <laughs> Occupation. No. <laughs> Political alignment. No. Occupation. Silly little rabbit. Looks like the print belongs to that bunny girl. Time to think of it. She did put the lid on the coffin during the show. That's probably when she left her print on the lid. Let's out shipping. Please let them wait. Oh, thank God. God. <laughs> it looks like that's all about about all the prints we're going to find. Go out there and get your limited cocaine back. <laughs> to sum everything up, the prints we found belong to the victim of Miss the victim, Mr. Rius, the bunny assistant, Bonnie, and some third unidentified person. But Just a see Athena with a bunch of flour in her mouth. Good Apollo! Outsiders up there? Somebody unrelated to the show? Hmm. Yes, we can't really say at this point. Well, thank goodness we didn't find any of Trucy's fingerprints, right? She's wearing gloves. That's only because Trucy was wearing gloves. Hey, Emma, there's something else that's been bothering me about the prince. Don't you think there's something odd about Mr. Rius's prince? There's a g-g-g-ghost inside. There's a g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-
I wonder Man, how he I knew like that. that. <clears throat> Maybe he was accidentally facing the wrong way at first, but then turned around later? No, the coffin is much too small for a guy his size to turn around in. But all he would have been able to manage is maybe a little bit of twisting. Twist up! Then it really doesn't make any sense, does it? I think I might have hit on some major- on something major here. I think I, I hit on some major baddies, Apollo said. Oh, I have just one more question, Emma. Oh yeah? What- oh yeah? What is it? Mr. Rius was stabbed in the back, right? But if he was standing in the coffin like this... How would that have worked? Oh, right. That... That... The lead prosecutor has an explanation, actually. He thought that the victim might have tried to dodge the sword as it came into the coffin. So maybe he twisted his body and the sword ended up stabbing him in the back. That's his theory, anyway. Why did TJ just respond with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Potential TJ cameo? Potential TJ cameo? Probably. I see. I guess that sounds plausible. What? Why... why do people... why did people make up that Yunjin was homophobic again? I don't know. This is a silly headcanon. She gives... she gives strong homophobic homosexual vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to make a comment about Trickster, but then I stopped myself. Well, I guess that about wraps up our investigation of the stage. Actually, there's still the area behind that curtain. <laughs> Don't you want to know what's back there? Sure do, but Emma told us not to move or touch anything, remember? <laughs> they even jiggle around. Would you quit staring at me? Fine, I'll go open it for you. I can't, you're hot. Wow, look at you flaunting your lady killer eyes. <laughs> Uh, ha, ha I have my ways. No, you're just dumb and short. <laughs> I pulled them in by being autistic. <laughs> I'm only doing this so I won't get charged with animal abuse for not throwing you a bone. I guess puppy eyes can be just as effective. Apollo giving puppy eyes. It... Apollo is that one dude that will catch oh everyone's attention because there. of how fucking short he is. He's got that- <laughs> He's got that Edward Elric tech. That is a guillotine back there. Well, that's not good. Sight. Guillotine Gary was here. Well, go on and investigate to your heart's content. Before you go moving anything. Hey, I've been looking for that. I know, I know. We'll be sure to ask first. My cousin Steve, Hangman Steve, always takes my guillotine away, so that's why I always take his nooses away. Oh, by the way, by the way, just examine the backstage to move to the area beyond the curtain. Can I? Oh, what? Okay. The fourth I'm wall obliterated. <laughs> Can I just walk over there like I not like move? No. Like a normal person. <laughs> No, I just need to look at it. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
This guy moaned at least this loud. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Seeing the stage this way kind of breaks the illusion, doesn't it? It just goes to show that some things are better left unseen. Ooh, listen to you sounding all grown up and stuff. Don't worry, I'm sure you have some cynical one-liners of your own someday, too. I'm sure you have your own trilogy one day, too. Oh boy, I can't wait. Anyway, that's sad. More pressing matters. <laughs> let's, let's go examine the backstage area. <laughs> no way, it's my- There's it's a my second coffin. Yeah, before we look at that, this is a bucket. <laughs> this is Dear a bucket. Dear God. <laughs> There's more. There's more. No. no. <laughs> Hold on. A dustpan, a broom, and a bucket. Guess they use these to keep the stage tidy. I doubt that's what this bucket is for, though. See how it says fire on it? A fire bucket? I'm just gonna post this in the group chat. It's totally unrelated. D don't worry about it. I guess it's a fire bucket then. <laughs> yes, I heard the theater owner went out and bought that just for the show. I hate that heard this song ironically slaps. Who to the store to get it? But can a little bucket like this really put out a raging fire? Because because y'all reminded me of fucking expiration date. I'm, I'm gonna put this in as well. I'm guessing the owner thought it could. But it doesn't look like it's been used. In fact, the inside is caked with dust. What was the point of even buying the bucket then? Waste of funds. Wait a minute. That means nobody actually pre prepared for the fire trick after all. Hmm. I have a feeling this might be an important bit of information. That's just dangerous safety. <laughs> Does TJ just have a video saved of that one part? <laughs> uh, bathroom break. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Now I gotta sit here looking at Emma playing with her damn <laughs> earring. That's no, sick. that's Athena, not Emma. I mean, Athena, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Athena's well. yellow. Athena yellow. Emma's white. I gotta remember their coats. <laughs> I gotta look at Athena's stupid ass earring that saved us from the last game. <laughs> yeah. That that oh. killed Neo's favorite villain. <laughs> Damn, I can't wait to kill people who have Magneto. Hey, Ma Magneto's about to hit the gritty. <laughs> get the autism that made me super smart and said I fucking got this and it's just a shrine of Edgeworth.
Looper, welcome to Gritty. Nah. I, I am Magneto, master oh, of there. magnet. Well, welcome to, welcome to cranking nineties. It took you that long to get to that joke, didn't it? It's a winch. I'm guessing they used to pull Mr. Hat up. Yes. Oh look, there are two winches. One back there and one up here. Apparently, each winch was rigged up to something different. Oh. Uh, one of them was used to hold up the dragon set piece. Oh, Blackout 6, we are so fucking back. While the other was connected to that weird puppet up in the catwalk. Oh, I'm sorry. I just saw, I just heard like shifting at my door, and I just realized it was Fizz. A weird puppet, huh? You better go check out the catwalk later. Catwalk overhead. Okay, I have an important question. D is he afraid of heights? <laughs> yes. Do I really what? have to you go want up to there? Why don't you go on up and check out, Athena? I'm sure you'll like the air up there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm like, I'm not I'm not afraid of heights per se, but I'm afraid of falling. And I fucking hate climbing ladders. So yay. Adult, adult. More do relatability fuck. points. Adult to fucking heights, dude. Me neither. <laughs> I don't fucking heights. Fuck heights. All my homies hate for heights. Huh? Huh? Where in the world did you get that idea from? Wait a minute. No! <laughs> Athena! Athena kicks Apollo in the ball. Like, is that the airhead? <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying at all. Now up you go! I'll just wait down here. No, 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 no. Obviously, this is the wrong chill. Obviously, this is what Athena's <laughs> gonna do to Apollo. <laughs> there we go. Come on now, this is for Truthy. She needs us, to... so up the catwalk we go. I had to go shit myself. Well, well, I guess it's time to put on my big boy pants. I cast shit pants. <laughs> I cast unwiped at unwiped ass cheeks. <laughs> Are you alright, Apollo? You're wiping your feet. I hate it. Uh, uh, I'm f f f f fine. You're even wider I'm than down, you now. I'm down. Shrek, I'm looking down. Those green things over there look like cushions. I guess one of them was used to absorb the force of impact when, he, when Mr. Hat zipped into it. Yeah, Trucy mentioned that. Yeah. Trucy mentioned all that. Let's go check it out. Go on, Apollo. Go 
over there. <laughs> We're way over there. <laughs> Go on, Apollo. We're waiting. <laughs> It's like crawling what? on all fours. What's that? What's that? Oh, it's Mr. Hat! Maybe Mr. Hat was the real culprit. He's attached to the wire. Actually, didn't Trissy say something like... They quickly raised Mr. Hat up by a wire... ...into a cushion on the catwalk. Hands pulled Mr. Hat up and let, left him there afterward? That wire attached to his back. Looks like it's connected to one of the winches down below. Huh? Mr. Hat's cape is ripped. Did that happen during the show? That's odd. It almost looks like it was slashed with a blade. How in the world did that happen? Trembling like a newborn fawn up here. <laughs> Get it together, man! Uh, I can't help it! You win! Pussy! Get me down. <laughs> he said pieces look like a rabbit in a moon. Although, they kind of look like they could be a duck and a croissant, too. Hello, Kane. I love you. Why do they- what do they look like to you, Apollo? The Grim Reaper. And a guy falling to his death. Come on, let's wrap up this investigation before your imagination comes with you. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Which one's the Grim Reaper, and which one's the guy falling to his death? <laughs> Is that the Grim Reaper?! <laughs> Wow, that's a big pulley. Looks like it's connected to one of the winches down below. The, the dragon said, the dragon said Hello, Slumper. Hello, I'm back. Hello. I had to go for something, but... Although, because I'm trying to keep the normal sleep schedule that the trip has given me, I'm probably going to immediately leave again. Because <laughs> right. be believe it or not, I like not having a fucked sleep schedule anymore. I felt that. <laughs> Imagine not having a fucked sleep schedule. Yeah. Hell, I'm trying to guys do it. I'll, I'll watch the rest of it on next channel or whatever. Let's see. How did it go? After being blown a kiss, Mr. Hat goes wild and. I'm trying to have a... He's about to stab the coffin, he gets pulled up to the catwalk. Oh. And he's gone. His smoke screen was to hide his ascent from the audience's view. <sighs> Anything else up here? Oh. Whoop. Something down there. The cushions attached to the underside. Well, what are you standing way over there for? Come on over and look. Apollo, Athena's not that You're not gonna try and push me off, are you? Seriously, Apollo? Come on, you'll be fine. Here, do you want me to hold your hand? Baby. Yeah, yes, actually. If you wouldn't mind. Ah. Uh. 
Look at you, pussy. <laughs> Looks like you're right, and Trucy mentioned something about this, didn't she? That's a, that cushion... That a cushion was supposed to absorb the force of impact when Mr. Hat was pulled up. Well, I think that about does it for the catwalk. Do you think we missed any- Nope! Nuh-uh! -uh. Didn't miss a single thing! We're all done here, yes siree! I take it you're ready to go down. Yeah, I think we'd better. I feel a fainting spell coming on. I'm gonna roll- Oh, brother! I'm gonna roll a nat- You don't need me to hold your hand again, do you? I'm gonna roll a nat 20 to see if you oh, can go to sleep brother. forever. Give me all this man. Guillotine. It's a guillotine. It's a geezer. It's not real. It's another one of Tree's pops. Guillotine Steve. I if it was supposed to appear in the show. Guillotine Gary trademark. All of his guillotines in America and Korean field and Korean country. If you use a guillotine in my vicinity, huh? I will use it on you. Didn't she said you were going to make a guest appearance on stage from a guillotine trick. What? No, I definitely remember not agreeing to something like losing my hat on national TV. I'm pretty sure that's an official art too. <laughs> nice. I wanna see. I wanna see. You got to look it up. <laughs> oh, one pip. Hey, there's a coffin pack here, too. Looks like there's a stuffed dragon inside. Now wait, look! It's an illusion! See? The dragon looks like it's inside. Really just painted on the front lid. Oh, that's cl that that I I know that I know that trick. Oh wow, you're right. That's really something else. No, that's just movie magic, Apollo. No, no, not movie magic, stage magic. The show hasn't been canceled. We might have gotten to Z District too, huh? Nah, I wish it wasn't canceled. Yay. There's a sign here that says understage. I bet these stairs go to the understage area. No, Apollo, they lead to the stairway to heaven. Freaking chaotic Gormagala. Dun, 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 dun. I love chaotic Gormagala. Intro, intro cutscene and rise goes so fucking hard. I wonder yeah. why. Uh, excuse you. Pardon me. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe because it's really dark down there or something. Ooh, I bet they got all kinds of magic stashed away down there. It really does show how like awful that ex on, that is that must be. Like, huh, huh. Oh well, that's what you call swinging an, an, an abyss. All done? Pretty much. There's just one thing. The door to the understage <clears throat> the door to the understage passage was locked. Any way we can get down there? Oh, no. That place? They locked it up as soon as the police- as we police finished our investigation down there. 
if you want to check it out, you'll have to ask a magician. Well, Tracy's at the detention center, so she can help us. I guess we'll have to look for somebody else from the show. Bonnie, obviously. Okay, now I'd better get back to my own investigation. See you around. Bye, Emma. It's too bad about the understage area. At least we learned a few things. Yeah! Like one of your greatest fears. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that. I meant how all the behind-the-scenes stuff is set up. Let's see, we found out there are two winches backstage. Mr. Howe was rigged to the first witch. Winch. Witch. The dragon set piece was attached to the other one. And both of them were used during the show. Right after the body was discovered, the dragon set piece fell to the stage. Ah. And in the chaos that ensued, the culprit could have switched the rubber sword with the real one. So it looks like the best way to prove Juicy's innocence is to identify the real killer. I mean, duh. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, ah, it's him. <laughs> it's Robert Downey Jr. No, it's Johnny Depp. Oh, shit. Oh, it's <laughs> What a complete and utter mess. This is all great. Just great! That right kid is a bush league. Small potatoes. A half-grown has-been. Hmm? There's somebody on the stage. Wonder who it is and what they're doing. Maybe we should go talk to them. Apollo, there isn't a lot of people that wear this getup like this. Hello, sir. Excuse me, are you connected to the show? What are those fucking shorts? Yeah. What? What? You two got a couple more headaches for me to handle? I got my hands full as is. Hey, nobody likes you. Hey, I remember this guy. His fucking latte says bunnies. Oh god, it does. Bunnies coffee. Oh god. Look, look at the logo. Look at the logo. It's just legs. Ah. Fragile. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this, this is the same guy. Hey, you there. What the heck's going on? They wouldn't even let me in. Me? For crying out loud. I'm gonna look up his pod name actually. Oh, Mr. Rents, there was an actor during the show. An accident? Great. Just great. That's all I need right now. Do you have any idea how much money we're sinking into this program? That man who was going off at the staff in front of the theater. I ain't never seen you guys before. If I had to guess, I'd say you're not production staff. Hmm? What's that I spy with my little eye? An attorney's badge? How'd you know what this is? Well, how do you do? I didn't know you find folks for lawyers. His ass got arrested. My business card, if you would. Charm to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. Oh, uh, thank you. 
So you're from the TV station, I take it. Sharp as a tack you are. I'm the producer of the TV special. All my idea, by the way. I'm Apollo Justice, Tracy Wright's defense attorney. Trucy writes. <laughs> oh, this fucking money. <laughs> well, ain't that a kick in the head? How about you open up that tidbit next time, champ? Uh, okay. What happened to the smoothie magoo bit? I'm Roger Retins. Ah, ratings. <laughs> Hold the applause and no autographs, kid. I'm on the clock. It's Robert Downey Jr. This theme is ridiculous. familiar, but I can't quite... Really, kid? Then try this on for size. Hang loose, baby! Another fucking producer. Really? Never heard of him. Have you ever heard of Have you ever heard of D Vasquez? <laughs> Seriously, man? What kind of cave did you crawl out of? Oh no, did it just a gender bent version of her, but more eccentric than out there. Roger Ratins, the Ratins Raja, tying of the TV screen. Still not ringing a bell? You ain't seen my hit Saturday night talk show at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central? Bro has a golden fucking watch. Yep. Uh, no. I can't say that I have. You're blowing my mind, kid. You even know what a TV is? Say it with me. Television. More relatability points. He doesn't watch TV much. Um, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about the incident? Oh no, no! What kind of comeback is that? That's a backbone, kid. I basically lobbed that one at you. Now hit me with your best barb. Viewers will love that. Come on! You gotta sell it. So what? Your soul. Say something funny for the nice people at home. Go on, hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best, hit me shot. With your best shot. Fire away. M my best shot? I have a gun pointed at you right now. <laughs> Do it. We're rolling here. Hurry up before they change the channel. Chop, chop. Oh, okay. Here it goes. Be funny. Talk to the hand. Kapow! The fuck? The fuck? Kapow! Really? The fuck? And why are you pointing all dramatically like we're in court? It's the only thing I know. I don't know. It just seemed like the thing to do. Instinct. <laughs> it's an instinct at this point. <laughs> Cricket. I guess I'll just Hello. awkwardly knock it to the ground. Ooh. Ooh. That one's going to my cringe compilation. No! Sure. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop! This is Roger Retens, and you're back with the cringiest things I've seen this weekend. First one is Apollo oh, Justice. Justice. Uh, that, that one's going to my cringe compilation. This is going 
on TikTok. Uh, <laughs> I really, I really am gonna put this on TikTok. You know, <laughs> you know how many reach this is gonna get. And it's all Apollo. It's just Apollo. I have a life to live. Not anymore, you don't. No. <laughs> life is over. Breathe your last. Uh, We're gonna dox you. No. <laughs> Gonna be all over Tokyo's main square, the cringiest lawyer ever made. I can't take this anymore. They don't make them like they used to, folks. Which is impressive because Phoenix Wright is already pretty cringe. <laughs> A cringe ass day, day, baby. Phoenix, save me. I'm too busy in another country, save yourself. No. <laughs> okay, I no. think we can Wait, all agree. Okay. Cringe ass day, day, baby. That uh -huh. was a mistake. Uh, if I choked any harder, I'd need the Heimlich maneuver. Uh, I blame myself, really. Should have known better than to waste good film on a nobody. Bitch. So, you want an exclusive or what? I just realized that his shirt, his shirt pattern is kind of like frills, fake frills. Yeah. This dude's fake as fuck. This is fake as fuck. Today's magic show was being broadcast live on TV, wasn't it? Yeah. And you were the producer, right? That's right. Rising Magic Star versus Old Screw Glimmer. It was gonna be wild. We're gonna have viewers vote for their favorite magician during the show. It was gonna be choosy, let's be honest. Yeah. And the loser would have had a really embarrassing prank done to him. It was gonna be pie in the face. It was gold, I tell ya. Guaranteed ratings! It's 2024, that's not a prank. They had to kill a dog one. or something. Don't you know how pranks work now? We have more extreme stuff back in 2015. We have more extreme stuff back in 2016. Oh, it's definitely not a prank you're not committing a felony if it's 2016. <laughs> Why you bleach? What? Wasn't it at the time when the guy was like fake killing the guy as part of a prank? Do you have any idea how slightly that narrows it down? I mean, considering that was like one of the big stories from that year. There's a lot of stuff that guards. happened in 2016, so. At least in regards to YouTube stuff. Mm. I don't know. It sounds kind of tacky if you ask me. I'm telling you, man. Modern viewers. Eat this stuff up with a spoon. Trust me. You just have to put a red arrow in the thumbnail. Boom. <laughs> Gotta put it in Comic Sans on the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm talking <laughs> red circles, being wrong about FNAF lore. <laughs> Neil, I'm giving you YouTube tips. <laughs> My channel's doing just fine, thank you. AI voice spouting conspiracy theories. No. <laughs> Bottom text. Specifically, <laughs> the one, the one Tumblr one that is allegedly the one uh, game. Yeah. Specifically, the one TikTok one that's apparently supposed to be Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> All we gotta do is serve up a nice, and up nice and hot, a feast for the eyes. Like junk food for the brain. Thank you, Apollo. <laughs> he speaks the truth. That little brat had to go and ruin everything with an accident of hers. Unless you're based on watch video essays. You have any idea how many times they dragged me over here to prepare for today? Hmm. You must know the cedar pretty well if he came by that often. Oh, that gives me an idea. How about this? 
mad mindscape of a magical murderous closet comrades come clean. Tell me, has Trucy always shown signs of being unhinged? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Look at you tell me she was ready to snap. I have a gun pointed at you right now. Kick, kick the camera out of his hands. As long as you don't get caught on camera. Truth be told, I'm not surprised about the way things turned out. Traditions are pretty much the dregs of society, am I right? Is this Rome? Come on! God, we got so many fucking magicians in this city. What's that supposed to mean? The incident. There's too many magicians around here. What were you doing at the time of the incident? Tune to show in the station studio. We had a whole bunch of girls in bikinis wrestle each other for the camera. This guy makes me sick. So you didn't see the accident as it actually happened? That's right. That's why I was shocked when I first got here. So we didn't hear about the accident until you arrived, huh? How old are you? 35. 35? He's as old as Phoenix. I'm guessing what you really want to know is whether or not I have an alibi. Am I right? Oh, wait, hold on. Phoenix. Right, damn! Yep. Phoenix ate like Boy. fine fucking wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My staff at the TV studio can vouch for me. And this was after his midlife crisis. <laughs> Why not go there and ask them yourself? You can give him my card, and they'll let you in. So you have an alibi, huh? Good to know. This guy, you make me, you make me want to punch him. I think that's the point. <laughs> Magicians are all a bunch of good for nothings, if you ask me. Con artists and thieves is what they are. They trick people and take their money. Good thing I'm a, that, good that, thing I'm a mate. That's what magicians, that's their job. Good thing I'm a That's how magic work, baby! Coming from you, and that's rich, pal. <laughs> <laughs> magic tricks aren't the same as con jobs, you know. Magic tricks aren't the same as... That's right. The people watching never feel like they've been cheated. <laughs> Lawyers spout hypocritical nonsense. Being surprised there, lol. And post. He's posting on X. Him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. You know how many retweets this is gonna get? <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. No, no. No, he joined on X. He's gonna say, you know how many re reposts I got? Hell, hell no. Hell, hell no, I'm not referring to it as X. Do you think yeah. I'm an idiot? You think we're stupid? Those Glamries are all criminals. It's in their blood. Trucy Wright ain't no different. Why you got a hate? Okay. Why you got a hard on hate for the Glamry, pal? Yeah, it's a bit suspicious. That girl's no good. She may look all sweet and innocent, but she's a stone cold killer. You didn't talk about Trucy like that! You don't know the first thing about her! Spot the culprit. <laughs> you won't find a sweeter, harder working girl anywhere, period! She's got the wool pulled off of your eyes, I see. And then you just hear a crash on the roof and Phoenix just pile drives rent. <laughs> <laughs> you take that back! What in the world are you talking about? You'll see. 
I'll dig up the dirt and expose the dark heart behind that sweet smile. I'll prove those grammar magicians are a bunch of lowlifes. Does he have a grudge against Trucy? Or maybe against all of True Grammarie? I went to one of the magic shows. They didn't shake my hand. I'm a, I, I was upset. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> TV is a window to the truth. No. <laughs> it's not like that magic stuff. Or the streetwise charlatans that perform it. Hey, those guys got my respect if they do that on the street. Yeah, like, you know the people that stand still like statues for like hours on end? Yeah. yeah. Like, how is like, hey, I'm just hey, I just remember, and now I'm just remembering that one video. It's like, hey, these, these things look like people. It's like, we are people. <laughs> It's a shame. A crying shame, I tell ya. What was supposed to be a fun, light-hearted program turned into this sorry affair. Red Ant's just walking up to Apollo from far away. Hashtag, tweets, selfies, lol. I'll have to sell it to the news outlets all over the world if I'm gonna make my money back. Truthy Wright will make her debut, all right. Not as a magician, but as a criminal. Well, what? Smack that phone out of his hand. That will, no, don't do that. That will be a fault. Hey, 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 it's my duty to report it. Can't let a tragedy like this happen again now, can I? Even if she gets off somehow, I'll make sure she never walks the streets again. I'm gonna cancel you. We won't let that happen. We won't let you do that to her. I got cancel culture on my side, you bitch. We're going to prove her innocence in court. Oh yeah, what are you gonna cancel me over, huh? Hmm. Ah, oh, listen mic. to you, acting all high and mighty. You're just another money grabber. We we didn't I ask do. for money. Yeah. I know how you lawyers do things. We'll stop at nothing to win. God, God damn it, Phoenix. And his fucking forge evidence. <sighs> I beg your pardon? The dark age of the law. If you win your don't trials, law, you get fat stacked. Law. Is money really all you care about? Look no. who's talking! Yeah. You got a fan of money. <laughs> yeah. I'm Apollo. Why did you listen? You'll get the face cam for this. <laughs> but enough about you. I'm about uh, going after Trucy now. Uh, contact, my guy. I won't stop until she's behind bars. That's how we in the media dish out justice. And you know that media can be manipulated, you son of a bitch. Does he know? Does he know, Chad? Before you even get to court, you participate in society. my expose is going to take you, you down. Nothing of five ever anything to say about it. Well, uh, gotta go back to the station. Hang loose, baby. Your Yeezys are fake. <laughs> Your Yeezys are hideous. I had to turn up my my asshole like thing all the way up for that. Yeah, that's what we've had to do for some of our characters. Yeezys are too. fake, and they're more hideous than the original. It looks like the prosecution won't be our only opponent this time. But no way are we gonna let that guy have his way either. That's right. Okay, we're done with this stage. So let's go someplace else. Okay, 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 beat him with hammers. I still wish we could check out that understage passage. But what else can we investigate right now? Okay, 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 beat him, beat him, beat Roger to death with hammers.
That's a huge ass dollar coin right there. Mm -hmm. But all that's left to check out is that understates passage. I'll have to try to get one of the staff members to unlock the door. Yep. Hmm? Huh? Someone just came into the dressing room. The bunnies. Yeah, it's, it's her. Oh, is it me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's you people again. You came back. Huh? Oh god. Oh my god. I... I saw you, you know? Oh, it's you! The funny sister from a show, right? What? Oh, um, yes. That's right. My name is Bonnie Defam. I remember you were talking to us earlier. <laughs> Performing magic is like walking a tightrope. There's always an element of danger. One little mistake can even cost you your life, you know? I wonder if she'll make it across today. Um, and what do you mean by that exactly? Hehe! <laughs> oh, nothing. Now if you excuse me... She said some pretty strange things, then. Accusing people of murder. <laughs> I... I saw you take it. You took something from our dressing room. The, um... Boom. I totally forgot how the German goes in that song. What song? Uh, Dar's a Pleasure by Franz Ferdinand. Completely unfamiliar. I uh, all posted and muted. <laughs> but there's like the ending part where it goes like, eh, eh, eh. it's like in German, but one of the words is super fantastic. Uh, uh -huh. 99 cents of balloons. <laughs> and. <laughs> Here's the song. Uh, Panic Bells are. Red alert, there's something here from somewhere else. What? Oh, um, thank you. But, but what you did, st stealing is. This song, right here. What other kind of magic trick can you do? Me? Oh well, uh, how about this? You know, I think Bonnie's trying to say something to Let us. Let her speak! She is? Damn. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Thief. Thief! I saw you. I saw you take that notebook. Please don't go into my dressing room. Nashfish. Nashfish. I. I don't know. I have. I. My German's. Yeah, I, I don't know German. Yeah. So I have no idea. I have all of exactly one week of German. <laughs> huh? No, no. Let me tell you a quick story about how fucked my language class was in middle school. Oh. Five weeks, five languages. Oh my god. I and thought that was a good idea. <laughs> Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, and Russian. 
all of that? Holy fuck. Actually, no, I might not have been Chinese, might have been German. Hmm. So it's true what they say. Thieves really do return to the scene of the crime, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Thieves? I thought it was just arsonists in real life. Oh well, yeah, those two. <laughs> who are horny for fire. <laughs> Guess that means she really saw us, huh? Really, they're really Jeez. putting the, they're really putting the arse in arsonist. <laughs> but this looks pretty bad. If you return what you stole right now, I won't call the police. Oh boy. You've got it all wrong. We're Trucy's lawyers. She asked us to bring the notebook to her. Tr Tr Trucy's lawyers? Oh, I'm so sorry I called you thieves. If you really thought we were thieves, why were you still doing magic tricks for us? I can't help it. Whenever anybody asks, I just can't bring myself to refuse. <laughs> Does that mean she's a real people person, or that she aims to please a little too hard? Well, I don't know if I should. Duh. Ooh. If I keep up the pressure, she just she just might tell us. I've been dying to know. Leave the poor girl alone. Are you investigating the case? <clears throat> Yes, that's right. I'm Trucy's biggest fan. I just love her to bits. i do anything to help her. We appreciate that. In that case, would you mind if we asked you a few questions? Nineteen. Nineteen. You're a magician, right, Bonnie? That's right. My specialties are teleportation and this little trick right here. Well. Uh, looks like Mr. Bunny is in a bad mood right now. Or that she messed up. You said you were a big fan of Trucy's, right? Oh yes. I look up to her more than anyone else in the whole world. What about her makes you respect her so much? She's just incredible. Not only is she extremely talented, but she's so cool under pressure and always manages to keep a smile on her face. In spite of all that talent, she still works harder than anybody I know. You couldn't ask for more out of a magician. Sensing a shift to a hyper fangirl drive. Oh. I love the oh. way she does her tricks and how she charms the audience. I especially love her magic panties trick, which is both cute and comical. The first time I saw her do that trick, I was so impressed. I already shows to her many times. Oh god, she's just talking! <laughs> oh my god, the bonnie girl. And that's why I think Trucy is top class. A real first rate magician. Yeah, fuck, <clears throat> fuck Mac Galactica. <laughs> fuck Mac. <laughs> I... I see. I think we have a pretty good idea of how much you adore her now. Bonnie, you uh, have oh, a... Oh, was I talking too much? I'm so sorry. Bonnie, you have a bad case of motor mouth. I better be careful about when and how I ask her about Trucy. Anyway, that's why I'll do anything, anything at all, to help Trucy. Oh, Mr. Lawyer, you just have to prove her innocence. Yeah, Apollo, prove her innocent. Don't worry, I plan to do just that. Yeah, Apollo, prove her innocent. 
I wish Trucy could see that she has people like Bonnie in her corner, rooting for Prove her. her innocence for the bunny girl. You were in the magic show, right? That's right. I take it you saw my teleportation trick? <laughs> yes, it was just wonderful. But it was pretty amazing. I have no idea how you transported yourself over such a distance in just a split second. It's so fun to be able to do a trick like that! Teleportation looks so cool! Like a superpower or something! Yeah, but the only person I know that could teleport sexy like is Nightcrawler, so... Yeah, my trick is turning some heads in the magic world right now. They're calling it new miraculous magic. Some even say it's the real deal. <laughs> real magic, huh? I know there must be an explanation, but it sure does look real. Athena. I think I can figure that trick out. I want to do it myself. When in the world do you need to teleport? Oh, you'll never figure it out. I always perform it perfectly. <gasps> uh! No, you don't. Uh! This feeling. What is this feeling? Fervent as a flame. Sorry. Looks to me like Bonnie is hiding something. When you said perform it perfectly, your right hand would tremble and move your head a tiny bit. I even caught a glimpse of the little rabbit hiding underneath. Your Dima! Oh. Oh. Did you really perform the teleportation Teleport. trick perfectly this time? Teleport. Teleport. Of course! I definitely got that part right. What do you mean, that part? Oops! Wait a minute. Are you saying that you... You fucked I up. Tracy's escape. You fucked up! You might have performed the teleportation trick flawlessly. But what about Tracy's escape trick after that? Did you make some kind of mistake during that? Oh, uh, well... Well, did you? I, uh, you see? Did you or didn't you? Eep! Uh, I did. You're absolutely right, Mr. Lawyer. I made a mistake during Trucy's escape trick. I'm sorry I lied. Phew! I feel like I pulled off a magic trick of my own just trying to get that out of her. And yet, still, it's not as creepy as Kristoff's devil hand. So you made a mistake during Trucy's escape trick? Yes, I was in charge of operating Mr. Hat, you see. But I made a huge goof. So, um, did Trucy explain to you how the escape trick works? 
Yes, she knew we needed to know for our investigation, so she shared the secret. Let's see. After Trucius gift from the coffin down into the underground passage, Mr. Howe was to be pulled up to the catwalk by a winch. Trucy would then pop up on stage through a trap door. I was operating Mr. Hat at the time. But I flubbed up where I was supposed to have him stand. I was supposed to make Mr. Hat stand to the left of the coffin. But I messed up and had him stand to the right by accident. Hmm. That matches up with what we saw during the show. Huh? But then, doesn't that mean... Trucy would have ended up popping up on the side Trucy opposite. Would have ended up popping on the side opposite to Mr. Hat. Damn, Athena, you sounded different. Sorry. Yes, she would have if she hadn't done some quick thinking on her feet. Most performers do. She managed to pop up on the right hand side of the coffin for me. So the audience never even knew a mistake had been made. Way to go, Trucy! Well, my mistake caused her so much trouble. I think I'd better ask Trucy about this later, too. Oh, by the way, we'd like to investigate the Understage Passage. Would that be alright? Oh, yes, by all means. Anything to help prove Trucy's innocence? <laughs> I'll unlock it for you. Oh no, it's him again! Oh no. Fitz is you. Oh god. Hey, there you are! You got a minute? Oh, Mr. Ruttons! Yes, of course! I got a horrible <laughs> joke, and I'm not gonna say it. Oh boy. <sighs> I'll say it and mute it, though. Oh boy. Just gonna do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got to I got distracted. <laughs> oh judge. <laughs> Not you, buddy. The lawyers! They're the ones I want to see. You have business with us? I hear you two who are from the same agency as Trucy. Is that true? Who told you that? Yes, that's Wait. right. Was it you, Apollo? Uh. What? This is for you, then. Hang loose, baby! A contract between Take Two TV, the first party, and Trucy Wright, the second party. Oh, it must have been that fucking contract she signed last episode. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, if through the fault of the second party, the show must be cancelled in part or in full, the second party will pay three million dollars as compensation to the first party. Hope you can cough up the three million. This is three million dollars. She's only seventeen. <coughs> yep, that's more like it. That shocked reaction. That dopey expression. Kill you. Why am I in my bathroom? <laughs> 
You'd make a great comedian. Juicy, this is why we don't sign contract just up in your face. No, really? <laughs> Fucking hate I know. <laughs> I'll put you on my show. We'll get one of those cartoon anvils to fall on your head. I hope you run into a wall. Wait a minute. Is this one of those hidden camera prank shows? Batman! Batman! Oh no! Batman! You wish. That's an official contract. See for yourself. Yep, that's real paper. You're the lawyers, after all. You should know a one who, when you see one, right? He's right. It's all signed and everything. You know, right here, right here really put on like a contract saying, look, I only take payment in advance. I'm not defending yeah. you. You better make sure your agency pays what Trucy owes me. In full. Are you kidding me? The right anything agency doesn't have that kind of money. Guess you're gonna have to go fishing for some. You can see it now. Craziest catch. Legend of the Seasick Lawyers. <laughs> fishing on the high seas? No thanks. I can't even swim. He doesn't know how to swim. The bitch can't even swim. The bitch can't even swim. <laughs> Hey now, there's nothing ridiculous here. It's all perfectly legit. It's got a signature on it, you see? <sighs> My boys have got to see the stupid look on your faces. It's priceless. And post. <laughs> I'm getting responses already. It's gonna go viral. You're doing a good job at making me hate the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> I'm friends yep. with Elon Musk. <laughs> For real. Does he have a Musk mobile? Probably. No. No, fuck that guy. <laughs> he has one of those hideous, 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 blocky, yeah. those hideous blocky the cars. My, the Lego this car. This man has definitely Mobile. committed a federal crime. <laughs> even Roblox cars look yeah. better. No, even Lego cars look better. He, than he would probably yeah. be one of those prank channels in like 20, in like during, that were really popular last decade, if he had been born like two, two decades earlier. <laughs> You ain't seen nothing yet, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna drive Troop Grammy and everybody associated with it into the ground. Serves your right for getting involved with the Grammys. Why do you have a hard on for these for them? What the oh, fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's this grudge you have against the Grammaries anyway? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? 
Stress is making you paranoid, champ. Bro, you were literally just talking about it. Paranoia sometimes seeps uh -uh. the truth. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Come on, Bonnie. We have more filming to do. Oh, um, yeah, yes, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Lawyer. Oh, and I'll unlock the door to the other stage passage for you later. Yo, what? <laughs> Don't say that out loud. Later, lawyers. Hang loose, baby. The fucking, the fuck, you're gonna say that when your fucking neck hits the noose, bitch. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, so you prefer the guillotine then? Why would Truthy sign a contract like this? <laughs> Either way, you're gonna die. She didn't pay Why did all this have to happen when Mr. Wright isn't here? Yeah, shouldn't Mr. Wright be taking this case? Yeah, he should probably have supervision over mm -hmm. what his daughter signs. We'll have to come back for the understage later. Let's go hear Trucy's side of the story. Nick, what the fuck? Oh, you finally saw why I posted it muted. Good thinking. Can't let you hit the high seas just yet. Oh, damn it! There must be something. There must be something we can do. We can't let the ratings Raja get his way. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna throttle. Alright. Yeah, I could, I could do ha I could do assholes. Yep. Three, two, one. Ta-da! <laughs> Whoa! How wow. you made my handcuffs disappear? Did you do that? That's funny. She's doing magic tricks for the guard. Now, should I try making you disappear <laughs> next, Mister Guard? Pulls out gun. Oh, okay. can, can you do that? <laughs> oh, yes, please. That is so exciting. This guard hates his job. Yeah. I think he's just enthralled. <laughs> There's another incident. <laughs> 14 bodies never found. <laughs> Apollo was never found. He was found in the dumpster. <laughs> Where I belong. They didn't even have faces for us to identify. Oh, hi, Polly. Hi, Athena. We, um, have some more questions for you. Judging by the look on your face, it must be about something big. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Things have gotten a little sticky. Oh, and I have to remember to give her that thing she asked for, too. Sound like a Resident Evil save thing. Yeah, I sold yeah, it near yeah. my exes online. Trucy, do you remember this contract? Yes, I signed it before I went on stage. It was. God damn it. What about this liability for compensation article here? Liability for compensation? What are you talking about? Let me see that. What? Three million dollars? Just as I suspected, she didn't know about that part. I never seen this article! And I read the whole contract from top to bottom! Yeah, I didn't think you'd miss such a big thing. But there's your signature, so what's going on? Oh my god, did he put like a fucking fake piece of paper on it? Probably. Or like. Oh my god. Like they somehow copied the signature or something. I don't know. Maybe there was some kind of trick involved? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like when I signed it? In other words, do you think there might be some foul play foot? You know, like, biz people do that, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm willing to bet that the ratings Raja is the one behind it. This guy needs his balls kicked in. Yeah. Bonnie told us about the mistake she made on stage. Oh, you mean where, where Mr. Hat been placed? Even I was at a loss, but uh, even I was at a loss about what to do for a second there. So how did you fix the problem? 
Well, I was down in the understage patches when I found out. I had to work my butt off to fix it, let me tell you. This song is stuck in my fucking head. <laughs> After I escaped from the coffin and went down to the understage passage, I got a signal from Bonnie saying she made a mistake with her Mr. Hatch positioning. No joke, I was freaking out. After all, I had to be back up on stage in a few short minutes. Magical girl Juicy Wright was faced with an unprecedented crisis beneath the stage. Would this spell be the end for Juicy and Graham Reland? Thing is totally hooked. I was supposed to get back up to the stage through trapdoor number one on the left. Using a platform that can be raised and lowered called a stage lift. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Bye. There's a stage lift ready and waiting in the lower position under trapdoor number one. But Mr. Hat had been placed on the right above trapdoor number two by mistake. There was already another stage lift under trapdoor number two, but. It was in the raised position since we hadn't planned on using it. Okay, so how did you get back up onto the stage? Why, through brute strength! Whoa! Dang. You shocked. <laughs> I couldn't lower stage lift too by myself, so I pushed it back and out of the way. Then I moved the lower stage to lift number one into place under trap door number two. <laughs> this thing is heavy! I wish I could have moved it with magic. Unfortunately, my magic is useless under the stage. The other stage is a dark abyss that drains magicians of all their power. Okay. I can see why it's called the Abyss. Never knew it could take so much out of you. That's just how it goes in the real world. Illusions are created by the blood, sweat, and tears of those behind the scenes. Ain't that the fucking truth? Yeah. Ow, I learned so much just now. <laughs> Trucy, have you told anybody else about all this? Nope. Nobody. This sounds like some critical information. Better make note of it. Hey, we got your notebook, by the way. It was, it was sitting next to Mr. Um, Reese's stuff. Here you, no. Here you go, Trucy. Here's your notebook back. back. Oh, great! Thank you very much! So what's written in... More Sour Patch Oreos. Oh god. Oh no. So what's written in there anyway? Oh, no. They're really good. Or something. <laughs> They're really good. That's because it is. Okay. It was originally my granddaddy Magnifique Grammarie's notebook. He used it like a diary. It has a place to jot down ideas for new magic tricks. Some of which only members of the true Grand Marine have ever laid eyes on. Wow. This notebook is a really big deal, then. Yes. That's why it's always kept on the lock and key. Why is there a detailed murder plan in it? <laughs> I bet a magician just do just about anything to get their hands on that notebook. Ironically, that's what it is in Apollo Justice. <laughs> We found him mixed in with Mr. Rios's belongings. Could he really have been trying to steal it? I don't know, Paul. Maybe he was just making... Uh, I don't know where this joke is going. The true Grand Reed Creed is also written in the side. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Wait a minute. Wrong Creed. <laughs> a true entertainer always keeps a smile on their face. That creed was passed out to me from my daddy, as his daddy passed it down to him. It's true that Trissy always keeps a smile on her face. 
guess it's due in part to her family creed. Trucy, I wanted to talk to you about where we found this notebook. We found this notebook mixed in with Mr. Ryus's belongings. What? Do you think he might have been trying to steal it? No way! I can't believe it! The great Mr. Reese would never do any such thing! Would it be so far-fetched if he was after Troop Graham Reese's secret tricks? It makes for a pretty compelling motive to take the notebook. In any case, we'd better focus on doing something about this contract for now. Trucy found it in her dressing room, right? <sighs> then we better do a little more investigating there. I'm so sorry to put the two of you through all of this. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this. There's gotta be some kind of mistake. If you need me, if you need me too, I'm willing to take drastic measures. With my magic! You're not planning on pulling some magical money out of there, are you? No, nope, my magic panties are much better at making things disappear than appear. Do, do I want to know what she's planning to make disappear? No. Hello, we have to do something, anything to fix this! Remember when my daddy disappeared? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Agree. Let's check out the dressing room again, for starters. Okay, we should finally check out the understage passage, too. The abyss? Then you have to go through the backstage area. Be careful down there! This is the only Clavier cameo we'll get. <clears throat> okay, this is where Trucy signed that contract. Right, and there must have been some kind of trick that was used when she signed it. Question is, what kind of trick and how was it done? Some kind of object or tool was used. There still may be a trace of it somewhere. Like with the pen or the paper. Well, it's time to find the secret oh to that Oh my god, trick. why are there so many archers in this fucking hallway? Save it here. Yeah, alrighty. <laughs>